Oh, hello there. Didn't see you behind me. Welcome back to the next video. The betrayal. Well, not betrayal, but portrayal of my mercenary unit, the Blue Foxes. We are now going to go stop the swarm. You are more than welcome to follow me as we go and do this. All right. Oh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below for my cameraman. He has been doing an excellent job following us into the thick of battle as of late. Into the thick of battle. See this excellent Sorkin, camera work he's doing. The Blue Fox's first long distance deployment. Expect a major battle. You are to eliminate a demi-human swarm that has laid waste to several Westfield villages. Their path so far suggests that they are set to attack the town of Yulden next. Yulden is located on the Jacquerite Highway that runs westward from Central Field. It's the most prosperous town in all of Westfield and an essential stopover for pilgrims and traders alike. Your task is to prevent the swarm from reaching your den and ensure that no harm befalls the town. Okay. All while the Imperials draw ever closer. There have only been reports of minor skirmishes with the enemy fleet descending upon Tagaria naval base. A major engagement has yet to occur. There is still time before the battle truly begins. Time aplenty for you to fulfill this mission. It's just all so underwhelming. There is just as much meaning to be found in defending Yildin as there is in fending off the Empire. Please, I am in no mood for such nonsense. Enough. We must hurry. Right. It's just as important defending defending Yildin. If we don't stop, uh. If we don't defend you, then the swarm just keep coming, and then they're gonna be behind us while we're fighting the empire. We need to take care of home first before we start looking outward. The swarm is larger than I expected. It's unheard of for demi-humans to amass in such numbers. They certainly didn't all gather together by chance. Indeed not. We ought to find out what's behind this. We can think about that later. For now, our priority is eliminating them. I want to put her on my horseman. And I'm not really all that enthused about him, so let's get rid of him. She doesn't need a stun, though. She has a stun. I don't have to use her though. I would like for him. Maybe give him the stun. That way I have three people with a stun. But then who would I give? Yeah, let's do that. That way she has some attack moves, which I don't like that that great. Hey, when he does his heavy smash, who would it heal? Would it still heal him even though he's not a he's not part of the team? It's very interesting. Hmm. She could use the heavy smash he has though to reposition herself. And I guess three of my people stuns. And this gives him some offensive abilities. The meteor fall. And the heal. I would give it to him, but hmm. he has the most EP. Uh, I need him to do the stun shot, though.
Let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, we'll just leave it like this. Because he'll never be, be out of his ability, not just be using his abilities because I can. They're not really all that strong, although I am fighting beasts this time, so the Furious Flurry should be okay this time. Oh, he doesn't have that passive right now. Yeah, well, whatever. Oh no, yeah, it does. Okay, yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. That's good as it's gonna get. Sorry, mission. Oh, I could do this now. Oh, yeah, I did rank up the three. Right, right, right. During the mission, you can switch deploy unit for a unit in reserve up to three times. Switching units when they are needed in battle for maximum effect. Or switching units if the other one's about to die. Are they coming? Let's get going. Very well. Get him in front. On my way. This battle had a time limit? I didn't read it. Understood. Let's get Understood. you up here. Get you on the side. There he is, Flurry. Ambush, ambush, come on, let's go. Kill these bastards. Heavy smash. Next target. Drop. Um, should I bring all of them over there? Him. Understood. Him. You two Let's go through good. here. I guess I don't have to though. I could just take them all around. Hmm. I guess there's no need. Yeah. Go this on. is all. This is all attacking. Very well. I'll be gone with you. Next time. All right. I've got Get it. that. Slash. Focus her, please. You move to attack from behind. You move Very in. Very well. Flurry. Oh, really? Understood. Here I go. Come on. Kill him. I need you. Huh. Okay. That works the way I thought it was gonna work. I was gonna use that tip part to make her move. Let's get going. Whatever. Very well. I've got it. Here go. Taunt him. You come here. Step from behind. Oh, assassinate, we kill him. Next target. You Understood. get that for us. You Go. get that. 
Understood. Jade Crystal. Shield Bash. I got it. Vacuum. You. Vacuum. Crown House. Just because Yet another foe defeated. Huh? Here they come again. This is our first assignment as the blue foxes. Let's make sure we don't lose focus. Staying focused is my specialty. Okay. Come on, let's make this quick. So Yeah, they came and get to us for the barricades in a way. Got it. Get you in there. Understood. Now, which one is Here him? Goes. You come behind. On my way. You come behind. So when they come through, I got to worry about I you go. getting attacked. She'll bash me again. My God. Time. Wait, why is he facing him? Get your ass up. Thank you. Let's get going. Oh, I need y'all to kill him. Thank you. First person they see. Got it. Understood. On my way. Meteor fall. <laughs> Very well. Shield bash. There's two, two specials happening right now, isn't it? Here it goes. Okay. Understood. Let's kill him. Easiest pie. For my SP, for my weapon. Ooh. Four thousand. I expected little in the way of fun, yet I was still disappointed. I am only glad that Yulden suffered minimal damage and can enjoy peaceful days ahead. Indeed. Now, we had better return to Central Field. There may be news from the front. What's wrong with him over there? 
or broody. Trouble? I remain puzzled by the actions of the demi-humans in Westfield. What has driven them to slaughter like this? Forming swarms and attacking settlements in a coordinated way is simply not in their nature. And having fought a fair few of them now, I would also say it is beyond their intelligence. Interesting. Do you mean to suggest that someone is manipulating them? I mean, that should be obvious. It's possible. We'll have to investigate further. Oh, it's them again. Well, at least we got those demi-humans under our control. It's a shame they weren't very useful. Not to worry, though. There's profit to be made from this. Like, I never understood the, the minds behind people like this. Like, your whole, your whole country is about to become... It's about to be... Uh, and brought in war from an outside enemy. And you think to take that chance, that time to weaken y'all standing? Like, I don't understand their, their logic. Like, they're doing this, which is weakening their infrastructure, which makes, which makes it, is going to make it harder for them to defend the outside threats. So they weaken their forefront, their front line, then they get swept by the enemy, and then what? They're going to fight the enemy by themselves? Because that's, that's all that's going to be left. Because they're the ones like they're helping the enemy. Like I don't understand. Like so stupid. Like instead of him doing this against his own people, he should be doing that against the enemy when they make landfall to divert their forces to make it easier to fight them. The blue so foxes stupid. eliminate a demi-human horde that had been launching violent attacks in Westfield. Left with suspicions regarding the horde's behavior, Andrea sends out a scouting party. It soon emerges that the attacks were instigated by Hattie Solvay of the Ardwolf Thieves. This is reported to the Duke, who orders that the odd wolves be put to the sword at once. No time for that. Meanwhile, the knights and mercenaries of Eastfield are mobilized by the Lord's Council. Who? And an army of 11,000 strong gathers at Tagaria Naval Base. The army is led by Alatane's crown prince himself, Ivan Gar Shatham. With the Imperial fleet looming ominously, the Alitanians prepare to face an imminent assault. Prince Ivangar has set out with his troops to Tagaria naval base. The prince is expected to be king one day, and not only because he's the firstborn. His skills are unmatched while the Mark of the Blessed affirms his right to the throne. Okay. I thought that was one of y'all that had that Mark of the Blessed from the beginning of uh, the beginning cinematic. Then we shall do our utmost to be of service to him. Because of Levi. Yes. The fact that he has the Mark makes me feel that Levi's spirit lives on in him. Hmm. Well, his ascension to the throne is not set in stone, despite being the most likely candidate. Are you hinting at something? Hmm. Not at all. The future is unpredictable, that's all I meant. Levi's unfortunate fate is proof of that. True. We can but do our best to deal with what life throws at us. Okay. Got a sec. <sighs> Rius, I hear your first mission as unit commander went well. Oh, bother. I always knew you were good, but I'd never have guessed you'd end up being in charge. Right. That reminds me. Uh, anyway, I hear we'll be going after Haiti Soy Bay. Soy Bay. 
the leader of the art world. Hmm. He's a wily so-and-so. Don't be surprised if he susses at our plan and puts his own in motion. <laughs> but hey, with your brains and the whole unit's brawn, who could possibly beat us? I'm counting on you. We're counting on you, Rias. Hmm. Off to Lorraine. As before. We've been tasked with eliminating the Art Wolves, a band of vicious criminals. I shall now explain. Their leader may have been involved in several of the incidents we've dealt with in the past. I trust in your ability. Please proceed with the utmost caution. Hmm. No side missions? It's a quick one. Oh, time we got some quick, uh, some quick videos again. I got the money to upgrade stuff, yeah, yeah. Increase the damage by 10%. Probably, it's probably my like, hit them with this and they die ability. So it kinda sucks right now, they don't. Did I not? Yeah, I did already. Yeah. Hmm. So what is it telling me to do these ones? Why would I do that? I mean, how these people? Reduce the EP. No. Deep in attack. Dagger blitz. Shield charge. Photon blade. Don't have those skills yet, so. Increase skill damage. Doesn't have that skill right now. Reduce cooldown. Free skill range. In effect, that area of step. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's the next skill she can get. Reduce cooldown. Increase damage. How do you do a move while you're in cooldown, though? Or they're just saying that. This isn't increasing the skills damage. It is increasing my damage in general. So after I do this, I start doing 30% more damage because I'll be in cooldown. I think that's what it's saying. Because whenever you do a skill, you immediately go into cooldown. So during that time that I'm in cooldown, after I do this, I'll be doing more damage, basically. Is how I'm imagining that. Which is not too bad, actually. Reduce EP cost. EP cost. Increase skill damage. Definitely need that. Because he doesn't have any moves that do like a lot of damage. Ooh, add delay to that. Hmm. Let's cause everybody to provoke her. He start doing that actually. So he does assassination, he does more damage. Yeah, let's do that. Let's backflip. I remember started doing that move. I don't have any money now, right? 15. No weapons is 16. Yeah. 
right. Thirty four. Thirty one. Assassination of the Shadow Step, Assassination of Leaping Sight. Yeah. The Shadow Step. Let's get that. Much better uh, move. All right. So I'm going to end this video here then. It's a, it's a quicker one, but. That's fine. My last couple of wounds have been like over an hour each. Wait, what's he? What? Hmm. Empire was the most concerning. That's it? Why would they give you a bubble then? Like he has something different and important to say. Alright, anyway. Thank you for uh, watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe down below. And I'll see you on the next one.